everybody. It's John DiPietro for RVT.com. And we're talking with a very well-respected campground manager about campground etiquette. So let's listen to Greg talk about some tips that you should follow when camping. Thanks so much, John. Hi, thanks so much, John, for having me over here today. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about campground etiquette. I think one of the first things we would talk about probably is campground boundaries. When you get a campsite, just know what your boundaries are. Know where your campsite is. A good example is don't park your car on somebody else's campsite. Don't bring your satellite dish over to somebody else's campsite. Even though it may be empty when you get there, it could be filled later on in the evening or the next morning, and they're looking for you to move the vehicle or the satellite dish. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Next, I believe, would probably be children and noise. You have to be aware of a quiet hour in any campground you go to. Usually it's 10 or 11 o'clock at night till about 8 o'clock in the morning, and you need to be aware of that. You don't want to be making a lot of noise for people to be woken up. You might be up, but a little people might be sleeping. The third thing I can think of would be about secure your campsite when you go away for the day. The best example is your awning. Our weather changes so fast up here in New England, lower your awning, because you know it's going to either rain or get windy. And we sure as I hate to see an expensive item that got ripped off. Or if you have anything on your table, put it away, store it away inside your camper and get blown away for the daytime. Okay, so, so speaking of campground etiquette, you also want to be mindful to tell your children if they're riding their bikes, just to go have a helmet on probably most every state. Be aware of where they're riding. Ride on the roads. Don't ride through people's campsites. And for parents to please, please, please watch your children it's all the time. They're just young children, and especially down by the pool area, any waterfront, any lakes, ponds, rivers, etc. It's just so important. We all love our children. We hate to see anybody get hurt. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. And we want to thank Greg Goldberg from Tuxbury Pond RV Park in Hampton, New Hampshire, Southampton, New Hampshire, to be specific, for being with us today. Have a great day, everybody. Let's go RVing. Thank you.